Hello, grade six learners. I'm teacher Gidra Kenyua Greenview Schools Kamulu. I'll take you through mathematics, grade six. Welcome. I'll take you through fractions and in particular addition of mixed fractions. Before we start addition of mixed fractions, we want to talk about the three types of fractions. So we have three types of fractions. The first one are proper fractions. Proper fractions. The second one are improper fractions. And the third one are mixed fractions. The third one is our mixed fractions. So pupils, I know you are able to tell me the examples of proper fractions. So one example of proper fraction is a third. A third, that means uh, one is the numerator and three is the denominator. So the denominator is more than the, the numerator. So another one is a half. That means one is the numerator, two is the denominator. So that's why we are saying this one is an example of proper fraction. When it comes to improper fraction, the denominator is less. So three out of two or three halves, that means the numerator is more than the denominator. We also have five thirds, that means uh, the numerator is more than the denominator. And I know people you can give me more examples of improper fraction. When it comes to mixed fractions, we can have an example of one and a third. One and a third, we have a whole number, which is one, and then we have one over three. So this one is an example of mixed fraction. We can as well have 10 and a half. This one is another example of a mixed fraction. So people, you are able to give me more examples of mixed fraction. So today we'll talk about the addition of such types of fractions. Class, we want to start by giving examples of addition of mixed fraction. So the first one, it is 10 and a third plus one and a half. So in this case, we have 10 and a third plus one and a half. That is our first example. So in this case, we are supposed to add the two whole numbers. So you add 10 plus one. What are you getting? Yes, you are getting 11. So you are getting 11. In this case, we have done 10 plus one and then we are getting 11. We have added the whole numbers. Then from there, we want to find the LCM of the denominators. That is the LCM of three and two. So we come here and write three and two like that. Then we come and divide here by three. Three divided by three is one. Two divided by three is impossible. So we write it as two there. Then we come here and divide by two. So here you are getting one and here one. So we are able to find our LCM by multiplying these two numbers. Two by three, so you are getting six. So you come here and write your six there. Plus, I hope you are together. Then after writing six here, you come and say six divided by three is two. Two times one is two. So you come and write your two here. I hope you are still together, class. So then from there, you come and say six divided by two is three. You multiply by one. What are you getting? Three. So what do we have here? We have 11. Two plus three, then over six. Then from there, you have our whole number, which is 11. Then our LCM is still 6. Then we do 2 plus 3, we get 5. Class, are you able to read our answer? What is our answer? Our answer is 11, 5, 6. So that was our first example. We as well have the second example. So this one is the second example. Yes. This is what we have. 
we have one and a half plus two and a quarter. One and a half plus two and a quarter. I have given you a simple equation as you have seen and you are able even to work out because in mathematics is a practical thing so I hope you have tried doing that equation. So again we come and add the whole numbers plus what is one plus two we are supposed here to get three. So we write our three there. Then after that we come here and find the LCM. The LCM of 2 and 4. We come and divide here by 2. When you have divided, it says 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we divide by 2 there. There we are getting like that. So 2 times 2 is 4. Our LCM is 4. So we come and write our LCM here. Again, you divide 4. Divided by 2, then you multiply by 1. Plus, what is 4 divided by 2? Yes, is right, you are getting 2. Then you multiply by 1, you are getting 2. Plus, what is 4 divided by 4? You are getting 1. Multiply by 1, what are you getting? Yes, you are getting 1. So, we add again 3, 3 quarter. So, that is our answer. Read our answer. Three, three quarter. That's right. We have the third example, whereby you are supposed to do it again. So, this is our last example. Read what we have. Yes, we have one and a half. One and a half plus one and a quarter. How many minutes do you need to do it? Yes, try to do the question. What is your answer? We start by writing or we start by adding the whole numbers. What is 1 plus 1 plus? Yes, we are getting 2. So we come here and write 2. Then we find the LCM of 2 and 4. So LCM of 2 and 4, we use the short method. Here we divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then here you come and divide by 2. So you are getting 1 and 1. So the LCM is 2 times 2. What is 2 times 2 plus? Yes, we are getting 4. So you come and write your 4 here. 4, we divide by 2. We are getting 2. 2 times 1, we are getting 2. So you come and write 2 there. 4 divided by 4, you are getting 1. Then you multiply, so you are getting 1. So what are we getting? 2, 3 quarter. So were you able to get that? Yes. Congratulations if you are able to get 2, 3 quarter. So I have made some questions here as uh, your extended activities for the same. So this is our first equation and I want us to read together. The first question whereby you are supposed to try is 5, 4, 5 plus 4 and a quarter. I hope you are able to write that in your exercise books. 5, 4, 5 plus 4 and a quarter. That is our first question on extended activity. We have the second one. What is the sum of two and a half and one, three, sixteen? What is the sum of two and a half and one, three, sixteen? The last question. During floods, Kamau had a quarter kilogram of rice and his wife bought three quarter kilograms of rice. How many kilograms do they have? Let me repeat the last question. During floods, Kamau had a quarter kilogram of rice and his wife bought three quarter kilograms of rice. How many kilograms do they have? In Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed your lesson. You try to do those exercises. And don't forget what we have talked about today. 
because you have talked about addition of mixed fraction. So let's meet in the next lesson as we find the answers to the equations on the extended uh, activities. Thank you again. My name is Tijagedra. Bye.